step into the nostalgic world of the 1975 TV series where Wonder Woman, played by the iconic Linda Carter, became a household name. In this classic Hollywood creation, you'll find yourself immersed in a whirlwind of funny, shocking, and sad moments. But before we dive into those juicy details, let me ask you which classic Hollywood actor stole your heart in this TV series. Share your favorite in the comments below. Throughout the series, various roles will capture your attention. So, out of the many, which one stands out as your absolute favorite? We're curious to know. Now, buckle up for the fascinating journey ahead as we unfold intriguing facts about this timeless classic. As you join us on this trip down memory lane, keep an eye out for those moments that made you laugh, gasp, or even shed a tear. Wonder Woman's world is filled with memorable characters and captivating stories. Which one resonates with you the most? Share your cherished memories and personal experiences in the comments. We'd love to hear your stories. So, are you ready to explore the hidden gems of this beloved TV series? Keep watching and get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. Your classic Hollywood favorite, the standout role, and your most cherished memory are all part of the journey. Let the conversation begin in the comments section below, and remember we want to hear it all. Your stories make this trip even more special. Stay tuned for more revelations and behind-the-scenes tidbits. And always remember, your engagement adds a new layer to the magic of this timeless TV series. In the 1970s TV series, a captivating portrayal unfolded as a remarkable female lead took center stage. Linda Carter embodied the iconic character with a perfect blend of looks and acting prowess. The show, balancing between seriousness and subtle humor, followed with the adventures of Diana Prince, who seamlessly transformed into a superhero known for her strength, speed, and intelligence. Major Steve Trevor, portrayed by Lyle Wagoner, served as the dashing male lead, albeit with occasional challenges in his role. The series transitioned from its initial World War II setting to the 1970s in subsequent seasons, introducing a shift in narrative dynamics. While the special effects may appear dated by today's standards, the show's charm remains largely unaffected. Noteworthy are the distinct transformations of Diana into Wonder Woman. The initial stop-motion technique gave way to a more budget-friendly method involving a twirl and a flash of light. Despite the dated special effects, the series stood out with its memorable theme song composed by Charles Fox infusing energy into pivotal moments. A pioneering show with a strong female lead, Wonder Woman's speeches emphasized the power of women. She demonstrated strength without animosity towards men, reflecting her belief in peaceful resolutions. The show's unique aspect lay in its portrayal of violence as a last resort, showcasing her commitment to reasoning before confrontation. Revisiting the series on DVD offers a nostalgic trip with unexpected delights, such as spotting actors who started as bit players on the show. Its contribution to 1970s television is evident, proving that the era wasn't devoid of quality content. Its availability on DVD allows a new generation to appreciate this iconic series. In conclusion, Wonder Woman remains a testament to the era's television, providing a fresh perspective on a pioneering show that combined action, empowerment, and a touch of nostalgia. In one episode titled Amazon Hot Wax, a discord over music rights led to its removal from the American syndication package. This issue was later resolved, and the episode found its way back during the 2005 DVD release and broadcast on memorable entertainment television. Lyle Wagoner, a key figure in the series, expressed a noteworthy perspective on the show's dynamics. He pointed out that Wonder Woman's success peaked during the World War II setting on ABC, citing better ratings. However, when the series transitioned to the 1970s on CBS, the ratings took a hit. Wagoner suggested that if the show had continued fighting Nazis, it could have enjoyed a prolonged run. Linda Carter, the lead actress herself, recently shared insights from her early Hollywood days. Despite facing sexism, she highlighted Christopher Reeve's kindness. In her words, Christopher Reeve was always amazing. He was amazing before he was amazing. These anecdotes shed light on the behind-the-scenes challenges, strategic decisions, and camaraderie that shaped the narrative of the 1975 TV series. They offer a glimpse into the show's evolution, success, and the interactions among the cast during its heyday. The unique blend of historical context, shifting settings, and personal reflections contributes to the show's rich history. 
Wonder Woman's TV series from 1975 showcased a unique array of villains with characters like Foster Grables, Morgana, and Baroness Paula von Gunther appearing in both the comic books and the show. Notably absent were figures like Cheetah, Circeus, Dr. Poison, Ares, and Dr. Psycho. The selection of villains added a distinctive touch to the series, aligning it with the comic book narrative while introducing its own set of challenges for the titular character. In the world of contracts and negotiations, Linda Carter, the lead actress, secured a groundbreaking deal with CBS. After ABC dropped the series, Ron Samuels, Carter's boyfriend and manager, brokered a deal for a full 22-episode season with CBS featuring a contemporary setting. This move not only revitalized the show, but also led to a landmark contract for Linda, earning her a substantial $1 million a year. This deal marked a significant milestone, making Carter one of the highest paid women in Hollywood during that period. Unlike other DC comic heroes, Wonder Woman unfolded her heroic feats in the real city of Washington, DC, diverging from the mythical landscapes associated with Batman or Superman. This distinctive choice of setting added a layer of authenticity to the show, grounding the superhero narrative in a recognizable and relatable environment. The show's transition from World War II to the 1970s introduced a refreshing dynamic, altering the narrative while maintaining its charm. Linda Carter's portrayal of the iconic character, characterized by a blend of strength and intelligence, resonated with audiences. The series also featured Lyle Wagoner as Major Steve Trevor, offering a dashing male lead amid the challenges of the superhero world. The dated special effects, particularly the transformation sequences, have become a hallmark of the series, emphasizing its nostalgic appeal. A noteworthy episode, Amazon Hot Wax, faced a temporary removal due to a discord over music rights. However, the issue was eventually resolved, allowing the episode to rejoin the series during the 2005 DVD release. Lyle Wagoner's perspective on the show's success highlighted the peak during the World War II setting on ABC, emphasizing the historical context impact on viewership. Insights from Linda Carter herself shed light on the behind-the-scenes challenges and camaraderie among the cast. Despite facing sexism, Carter appreciated Christopher Reeve's kindness, offering a glimpse into the personal interactions that shaped the show's history. The 1975 TV series of Wonder Woman, with its unique blend of historical context, shifting settings, and personal reflections, stands as a unique contribution to the era's television landscape. Its significance in Hollywood, marked by groundbreaking contracts and a distinctive portrayal of a female superhero, continues to connect with audiences, providing a fresh perspective on a classic series. In the 1970s television landscape, Wonder Woman stood out as a groundbreaking show that skillfully combined action, empowerment, and a hint of nostalgia. The absence of crossover episodes with Superman happened because both series were being filmed simultaneously by Warner Brothers. Christopher Reeve and Linda Carter, renowned in their respective roles, couldn't be part of NBC's Legends of the Superheroes due to scheduling conflicts. Ten years earlier, Lyle Wagoner, now a significant figure in Wonder Woman, had tried out for the role of Batman but lost to Adam West. Stanley Ralph Ross, the series developer who had previously written for the Batman TV show, brought his expertise to Wonder Woman. Ross, a familiar name in the Super Friends franchise, pointed out the lack of Wonder Woman's nemesis Cheetah in the live-action series. Wonder Woman's success during the World War II setting on ABC peaked, as per insights from Lyle Wagoner. Moving to the 1970s on CBS led to a decline in ratings, suggesting that the show's storytelling played a crucial role in viewer engagement. Reflecting on her early Hollywood days, Linda Carter praised Christopher Reeve's kindness amidst the challenges of sexism. Villains like Foster Grables, Morgana, and Baroness Paula von Gunther added a distinctive touch to the series, aligning with the comic book narrative. Notably absent were characters like Cheetah and Cersei. Linda Carter's groundbreaking deal with CBS, brokered by her boyfriend and manager Ron Samuels, revitalized the show and made her one of the highest paid women in Hollywood at $1 million per year. Unlike other DC comic heroes, Wonder Woman's heroic feats unfolded in the real city of Washington, DC, grounding the narrative in authenticity. The show's transition from World War II to the 1970s introduced a refreshing dynamic while maintaining its charm. Dated special effects, especially the transformation sequences, became a hallmark of the series, emphasizing its nostalgic appeal. 
An episode titled Amazon Hot Wax faced temporary removal due to music rights discord, but later rejoined the series during the 2005 DVD release. These behind-the-scenes challenges, strategic decisions, and camaraderie among the cast offer a glimpse into the rich history of the 1975 TV series. A distinctive portrayal of a female superhero, the show remains connected with audiences, providing a fresh perspective on a classic series.